Australia, UK, we, nothing has gathered us except to make Allah Azza wa Jalla. They're fighting a new kind of war, with their propaganda videos being viewed all over the internet and the world. While the government has claimed around 400 young British men have travelled to Syria, others claim the numbers are far higher. Today, the Prime Minister vowed to find ways to stop them ever finding the possibility attractive. The most important thing of all is to stop this radicalization in the first place. And that's why my counter-extremism task force about driving out the extremist poisonous narrative, getting it out of our schools, getting it out of our universities, getting it out of our campuses, getting it out of our prisons, confronting it wherever it appears. Because we know that the end point of this extremist narrative can mean people dead on our own streets. Attention has now been focused on this Islamic centre in Cardiff, where some of the men are believed to have worshipped, and key details about their lives keep emerging. 20-year-old Rayard Khan once wrote he wanted to become Britain's first Asian Prime Minister. Gifted student Nassim Athana, who's also 20, was offered the chance to study medicine by four universities. His brother, 17-year-old Asil, apparently left Britain in February after telling his parents he was staying at his friend's house. Today, the father of Nasser and Asil Mathana condemned his sons. He says he alerted the authorities about Nasser, then hid the passport of Asil. So he's confused as to how the teenager left the country. Because they left my Asil gone while I'm looking for Nasser to come back. How he slept, how they gave him a passport who give him the money for the train ticket, who give him the money to fly, why they let him go when he's under 18. Usually under 18, he'd be question, under question mark. Britain's top counter-terrorism officer says reaching out to family members of potential jihad recruits has proved successful. That is clearly leading to more people contacting us when they're worried, giving us information, supporting us in the action that we wish to take, uh, either to help get somebody back or indeed on occasion we have families helping us uh, when we are uh, arresting people or um, investigating them. No, that gender isn't something but how many young British men are going across to fight? Is it still in the hundreds or has it reached the thousands?